Hi, this is Ray Van Eric of the Doors, and you're watching Barks. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side, yeah. We chased our pleasures here. The Doors' biggest influence, I'd say, was on the a style of music that we played, bringing a dark, ominous, eerie, strange quality to rock and roll that, that hadn't been there before, but also bringing a depth, an intellectual depth, a psychiatric, psychologist, uh, psychological, psychobooty kind of thing to uh, rock and roll that hadn't uh, been there. We brought the, the philosopher Carl Jung into rock and roll. That's our case. Yes, I have a story about the first album that I think you'll like. Uh, it was a very exciting time for us because it was 1967 and we had finally made a record that was actually out on the streets in America for people to listen to and hopefully to buy. But unfortunately, our first single was Break On Through to the Other Side, and it never even made it into the Hot 100, the Billboard Hot 100. It made it only to a Billboard magazine 106, or something called Bubbling Under, and this big magazine just from one all the way down to 100, underneath was Bubbling Under, and it was like a low simmer, just the way you would cook rice. Bring it to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. That's what we were. We only made a low simmer at 106. And we called and called the radio stations, everybody in, in uh, that, all our friends in Los Angeles, mine and Jim's and John and Robbie, we wound up, we gathered everyone we knew and told them, call the radio stations and ask for a break on through to the other side. I never heard it. It was never played on the radio. It was like, some people heard it, but I never got to hear it. I was never listening to the radio station. So our very first single, Break On Through to the Other Side, all those requests, people calling in saying, Hi, I'm so-and-so from the Valley. Play the doors, Break On Through. Hi, I'm Johnny Jones from Venice High School. Can you play the group? That boss band, the doors, play Break On Through. So I never heard Break On Through on the radio. I feel great about the 40th anniversary of The Doors. It's very exciting. It's a wonderful time to be alive. I'm very happy that I am still alive. And I know Jim Morrison would like to be alive and be here celebrating The Doors' 40th anniversary, which is just terrific. And we think it's a real honor and a privilege that people are still interested in Doors music. No, The Doors, uh, well, we only exist in such a short period of time. I'm not sure how many uh, rock and roll bands were coming to Japan in 1968, 69. I know you had the Beatles, and uh, Paul McCartney was uh, arrested in Japan. So we were a little concerned about coming to Japan and uh, being arrested. Not that we would bring any drugs in, we would never do that, but you could certainly arrest us just for political reasons, just for being LSD acid heads, we could have been arrested. So uh, we were afraid to come to Japan because we thought we'd be arrested and then beaten by the police. But now everything is fine. Unfortunately, Jim Morrison is no longer here, so the Doors will not come to Japan. I guess the Doors actually will never play Japan. However, Riders on the Storm, my band that I, that I play with, Robbie Krieger, and we play Doors songs and you songs. Hopefully, we're. We will be in Japan in, towards the end of the year, beginning of next year. Um, we'll be playing in Australia, and then we'll come up and play in Japan. And we have a new lead singer, Brett Scallions, from Fuel. And 
and he's just a great singer. I'm really looking forward to Robbie and I playing Light My Fire and Riders on the Storm live for the Japanese audience. The Very Best of the Doors album is a sensational new mix of Light My Fire, Riders on the Storm, Backdoor Man, Five to One, Hello I Love You, all kinds of Doors hits. And what we did is make absolute new mixes of the 4-track, 8-track, and 16-tracks. We took each track and did brand new mixes from it. And we found all kinds of things that we had forgotten that were there. For instance, at the end of Hello, I Love You, you can hear an extended ride out. And you can hear Jim just having a grand time, whooping and screaming and hollering. And uh, it's just a terrific, uh, when I first heard it, I thought, this is great. And then uh, she gets high and uh, can break on through to the other side. And so there are all kinds of little guitar things and background vocals and keyboard parts uh, that weren't on the originals. But these are the exact original recordings with a little extra added, something extra in it. And, uh, the sound is just terrific. It sounds as good as it did when we heard it in the studio. You put earphones on and listen to the very best of the doors. You're going to have an experience like you've never had before. Uh, I would like our fans to try to save planet Earth, uh, to try to be good citizens and uh, lovers of nature. I would like our fans to, although it's kind of uh, silly to say it in Japan, to make love, not war, because the Japanese are not a warlike people, love nature, and I want to return to uh, good, decent, wholesome principles, and then I want you to rock and roll to the doors. Where are the feasts we were promised? 